Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a second look at one of my favorite Japanese RPGs of all time with Lost Odyssey. Looking back at one of my favorite generations of gaming with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, gaming truly was very competitive and pushing each other in making games on gaming consoles. So many different IPs came out and also experimenting and pushing old genres from previous generations. Although pushing forward, sometimes looking back can also bring nostalgia with modern tech. I believe that Lost Odyssey is a fantastic look at a traditional JRPG that also pushed tech to the next level with the Xbox 360. Lost Odyssey was developed by Feel Plus and released by Microsoft Game Studios in 2007 and 2008 in North America. The game was proposed first by Microsoft to Final Fantasy creator Enobu Sakaguchi in 2003. This partnership was to bring a new IP to the Xbox 360 on the scale of Final Fantasy. With independent game studio Mistwalker, the game was planned and to be developed by Field Plus as the project faced many critical issues in its development with many developers from other games like Shadow Hearts, The Legend of Dragoon, and Phantom Dust. Written by Sakaguchi himself, his aim for the game was to connect emotional experiences that explore the human psyche with its clear character and deep stories. The game is set in a world of magic with industrial feel similar to Final Fantasy VII. The world exists with magic that remained before industrial buildings and technology were even built. The character designs were designed by Takaniko Inu, who is a noted manga artist that had all of his designs were very difficult to translate into 3D, but was very fortunate that programmers were well in depth with the Unreal Engine 3, and this made the process a lot easier. Concept art was worked on by Christian Lorenz Schuer, who also worked on Final Fantasy IX and the film Man of Steel. The story revolves around a soldier, Kayim, who along with another soldier, Seth, are the only survivors of a horrific battle between two rival nations. They are seen as immortals, but also have no memory of their past except their ability in war. They are sent on yet another mission, but captured and meet another immortal who also lost her memory, Queen Ming. As they travel together, they are reminded slowly on their memory and what and how they are part of the world as they discover more characters and the world in general. Of course, the story leads to saving the world, but the writing, voice acting, and overall pacing truly is the reason why you play until the very end in this 70 hour JRPG. The interaction between characters are fun to watch and see their development grow from the beginning to the very end. The gameplay here is your traditional turn based affair, which is like classic Final Fantasy, very easy to get into. With traditional magic users and fighters, you strategically place members of the party to defend others. I usually place the weaker magic characters in the back row and more durable fighters in the front. The game adds the aim ring that will give players a target on screen that rewards you with more damage when done correctly for weapon characters. The soundtrack here was produced by none other than Final Fantasy master Nobu Umatsu and his studio Smile Please. The music composed is some of the best music to hit the game and Umatsu was very excited to see Sakaguchi once again excited to build a new world of this magnitude since leaving Square Enix in 2003. Songs by Sheena Easton was also recorded with lyrics by Sakaguchi himself.
With the game's release, Lost Odyssey sold amazingly well in Japan, selling almost 50% of their shipment in the very first day. In North America, it doubled the sales, leading to a novel with short stories with main character Kayun later on. Given rave reviews, it was a success for the Xbox 360 based on the story, high production presentation, with an outstanding soundtrack. The game screams for a remake today, or at least a sequel for the brand like Final Fantasy. The best we get is backwards compatibility for the Xbox Series X and S consoles. All I can do is hope with Microsoft wanting more from Japan developers, we might actually get another look at this original masterpiece, either remastered or a new installment in the same vein. But that's my opinion and, of course, my hope. That's it for this retro look at Lost Odyssey. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.